G'day guys, Greg here. Well, I am still on my search for the best fish and chips and today it's brought me to the Q Centre here on the Gold Coast. There's a fish and chip shop that, well, I think it went out of business, but there's some new owners in there now. It's called Sea Bites. So how about we whip on in and try our Sea Bites fish and chips. Let's do it. Okay, well, here's the Sea Bites Fish and Chips. It was $11.40 and it's hokey and chips. It smells really good. So let's take a look. Oh, okay, well, here we go. Gee, that's a nice solid piece of fish. That is pretty big. And the battering looks all right. And that's the amount of chips I got with it. So. Not a huge feed, but still, it looks pretty good. All right, well, let's try some of their chips. Oh, broken. Now, they didn't ask for if I wanted chicken salt, so that maybe they don't have it. Anyway, I would have said yes, but let's try these. Mm. Not bad. They're big, they're chunky, they're soft in the middle and they taste pretty good. They're stock standard frozen chips, but hey, they, they taste pretty good. Mmm. It's just a shame there's so little of them. All right, this batter looks um, quite interesting actually. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I kind of got this hint of garlic when I first bit into it. Man, that was really nice, that batter. I'm really enjoying this. Mm. Plus it's light and fluffy and man, it tastes really good. What about this fish? Now, it is a frozen hokey, but hey, it still looks all right on this side. It's got the skin on still and well, it looks like a, a decent piece of fish. And considering how big it is, mate, there's, there's got to be bounds of Omega-3s in this, right? Mmm. Mate, it tastes all right. Obviously frozen, but it's sort of got that same, like, garlicky sort of taste to it, which I'm really enjoying. Right. Come at me. That actually tastes really nice. I'm, I'm quite enjoying this, even though it's, you know, a frozen bit of hokey. Mate, it tastes good. And it's a quite a nice solid piece of fish too that's flaking away and, oh wow. Mmm, yum. Mm. Now, it did come with some lemon, so let's do the lemon test. Oh boy, that is juicy. Oh yeah. Mm -mm, I don't want to put too much lemon on, just in case. Mmm. Yeah, it tastes good. It tastes pretty good with or without the lemon. And, well, it's just a nice solid piece of fish. I'm really enjoying it. Mmm. But I have been neglecting these chips. Uh -huh. Oh man, I better stop before I finish it all uh, so I can give it a score out of five Google stars. Now it is a new shop so it doesn't actually have a rating, but I'll start the rating off on it. Hmm, what do I think it deserves? Well, tell you what, the fish, even though it was cheap frozen hokey, it was pretty good. I really liked the garlicky flavour of it and the flesh was nice and flaking and 
it was still a nice piece of fish. The battering had that same garlicky flavour and oh man it tasted really good and I really enjoyed it actually and the chips even though you know there's not a lot there they still taste pretty good. The price is a little bit high but hey tell you what it was worth every cent so for my Grego Google Star rating I'll give it four out of five stars. It was actually pretty good and I, I'm really enjoying it and well after the night I had last night there's nothing better than a nice fish and chips and it's not really greasy at all either it's 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 just a nice fish and chips and a special shout out to Rajin Savjani one of my longtime Patreon Patreons and I really appreciate your patronage and this video is dedicated to you so what's my recommendation well if you're ever at the Q Center doing a bit of shopping you know whip on in to sea bites and grab a fish and chips it's actually pretty nice and I'm pretty sure that you'll enjoy it and if you do go there tell them Greg sent you I'm pretty sure they'll have a clue anyway I'm gonna sit here and just look at this beautiful piece of Australia right here and finish these fish and chips off thanks for watching and I'll see you next time I'm on my search for the best fish and chips see you then oh yeah this is Greg's kitchen